Righto, Talio champs, and today I'm very excited because here I have the Huawei MateBook X Pro. And a lot of people ask me about this laptop. When am I gonna review it? And yes, we're gonna review it. Gonna have a quick look. And Huawei P40 Pro, perfect pair. Because if you think AirDrop is good, this is next level compared to AirDrop. It makes AirDrop look like ancient technology compared to what you can do with this phone and this laptop together. So now you can get, you know, the basic features of AirDrop on a PC and actually one of the features that blew me away is I could actually record the screen off my MateBook X with you know audio and everything onto that just boom just record it straight there off the laptop it, yeah it's so amazing you know share screenshots it's just yeah we'll get into that anyway but here let's unbox this one first because this one already oh first let's unbox this first and that doesn't take much unboxing because there we go, MateBook Pro X, and let's see. I've already logged in, I've done everything. Let's see if that fingerprint will read. Oh, look at that, super fast fingerprint reader. You looking Samsung, Samsung, a fingerprint sensor that works, you know what I mean? And yeah, I've already unboxed this and had a look at this. You can actually transfer most of your apps on this, so if you're worried about that, you can do it. And I tell you now, the cameras on this, wow, they are friggin' amazing. I mean, amazing. Um, we'll just have a quick look at it, I guess. Yeah, it's a beautiful, you don't get any better than this when it comes to phone, look at that. That's one serious camera, isn't it? I mean, you're not joking here, the zoom you get on it, the quality of the photos, you've got the best sensor on a smartphone. Actually, 5G, I think the 5G's built into the actual modem itself, so it's not discreet, it's actually built in. So this is, hardware-wise, you know the benchmark when it comes to phones so we'll get into that don't worry we're going to see how it works with that that's the main thing here see how good that works look at that we'll see how good it actually works with this it's much better than airdrop from what i've been told so we'll go through that later famous knife you can already see with this laptop look how tiny the box is i mean it already tells you how nice and small and compact this thing is and this thing comes with the latest 10th generation CPUs. Not only the latest 10th generation CPUs, these are Comet Lake CPUs, so they can clock up higher, faster. But this also has an MX250 graphics as well. Graphics card in there. So that means this will be better for video editing and gaming than say an Ultrabook without, you know, discrete graphics. It's not the most powerful graphics in the world, you know, the MX250, but it gives you the much needed kick when you need it and it's not going to affect your battery life or anything like that so this is what i want to see in ultrabooks i want to see a graphics card in ultrabooks you know that's what i want we all want that because why not because if they can do this with the matebook x pro actually have a graphics card in such a small package and by the way three by two display you know why can't everyone else do that so there you go this is a sample product of course Nice dark grey. Take that out of there. Whoa. It's a nice dark grey, that. That is a nice grey. It's sort of like space grey on the Mac, maybe a shade darker. It is a very nice finish there. It has diamond cut edges. It just, yeah, it's got a nice finish on it. It's very smooth, very premium. Hey, Huawei, signed there by Huawei. And yeah, looks similar to the Mac underneath, actually. So what else do you get in the box? We also get, this is the best thing. Oh mate, look at this. That is your charger. That, it's, you know, it's like a phone charger. That is it, 65 watts. That, that's all you have to carry around. You can basically nearly carry around like a phone charger as well. When you think about it, if you've got a 45 watt phone charger, most of the time you don't need more than 45 watts with these because they're 15 watt part. Yeah, you've got a GPU as well, but this is 65 watts. And this charger here, it's one charger for everything, right? You have this for your phone, you have it for your laptop, just this one small charger. Travel lightly, look at it. That's got a GPU in it as well, it's amazing. You know, the MacBook Pro, no GPU. 
What else do we get? We get the cables in here and I think we get an adapter. So that's just a USB-C cable there. I will leave actually promotional material in the description. They've actually got a discount on the entry level, mate. And actually I do think you get an included dongle if you buy it now in Australia. So what I want to do here is this uh, power pack here. Look what's good about this. It's got an LED screen here. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the best power pack I've got. This does 45 watts of power delivery. 45 watts, enough to power this. No problems, all right? And look how small and compact it is. I'll leave a link in the description to this. Um, it's my favorite power cord by far. Power brick, should I say. Oh man, look at that finish there. Whoa, nice glass track pad. That's where you do the Huawei share. You have the Intel 10th generation. Look where they put the fingerprint sensor. Can you believe that? How good is that? I'm not gonna be touching this when I'm trying to press delete. That is amazing. Touch display, of course, three by two. Let's turn up that. 450 nits of brightness, okay? This has 450 nits of brightness. Okay, so one thing to know here is webcam there, okay? So that's where the webcam is, yep. So no one will be able to see you, it's there. You might say it's chin cam, whatever, I don't care. It's good, it's secure and you've got a webcam if you want it. Four ports, we have USB type C and we have Thunderbolt 3. Thunderbolt 3, awesome combination audio jack there. And a legacy port, USB type A. So you're pretty much covered there. My region is Australia. Mate, we're right up the top, baby, come on. Australia, let's get in there. Yeah, three by two is the best. 16 by 10 would be second best and I'd say 16 by nine. Ah, really? I really prefer a much taller screen there. We use US keyboard. Let's do that. Nice trackpad. I already can feel that's a nice trackpad. So that's good. Windows Precision keyboard. Keyboard feels nice. I guess it's pretty much like the last one. So yeah, thin and light, portable package, powerful, you know, 10th generation CPUs. You know, GPU to help you out there. It's going to be great for content creation, you know, touch display, 3 by 2 All right, so compare this to the Mac. Which one looks more modern? Look at those bezels. Look at that. Big bezel. Touch display. Awesome. By the way, Cinebench score of 1146. Maintained about nearly 15 watts during the whole run, so it goes down to that. It's an 18 watt power package, and the temperatures were well in control, by the way. So have a look at it. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's a great laptop. Looks sexy. It's 3x2, 100% sRGB screen. It's like 450 nits. Keyboard, it is a good keyboard. So it's cool, I like it. Stay tuned for my full review. Catch you in the next one. Tally, ho.